हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हिक्सियन एंड स्लस्ट की सब्स्टिट्यूशन इफेक्ट एंड वी विल आल्सो सी डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन हिक्सियन एंड स्लस्ट की सब्स्टिट्यूशन इफेक्ट फर्स्टली वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हिक्सियन सब्स्टिट्यूशन इफेक्ट एंड वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हिक्सियन इफेक्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस डायग्राम एज वी नो डायग्राम ऑफ हिक्सियन इफेक्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड डायग्राम दैट मींस यू विल क्लियरली अंडरस्टैंड होल कांसेप्ट इन दिस डायग्राम ऑन x axis we have x good and y axis we have y good this ab is our initial budget line ic is our initial indifference curve e is our initial consumer equilibrium point because at this e point budget line touch our indifference curve and at this equilibrium point consumer is buying os quantities of x good and o y quantities of y good now suppose price of x fall As price of X fall, budget line of consumer shift outward on the side of X. You can see budget line of consumer has shifted outward on the side of X, and our new budget line is AC, and new indifference curve is IC one, and new consumer equilibrium point is E one. You can see here at new equilibrium point, consumer has increased quantities of X good from OX to OX one. Why consumer has increased the quantities of uh, X good at new E E one equilibrium? been a point because now x become cheaper price of x has reduced purchasing power of consumer has increased or we can say the real income of consumer has increased now he has more money to buy x good that's why when price of x fall consumer increase the quantity of x good from ox to ox one As price of X fall, consumer reach at their higher indifference curve IC one. But according to Hicks, we should reduce money income of consumer in such a way so that he return back to his initial indifference curve again. As price of X fall, consumer reach at their higher indifference curve IC one. But according to Hicks, we should reduce money income of consumer in such a way so that he return back to his initial indifference curve again as we reduce money income of consumer is budget line shift inward so ed is new budget line this dotted line represent new budget line of consumer this e d now money income of consumer has reduced still he will increase quantities of x good why consumer increase quantities of x good because price of x has reduced and our consumer is rational he knows that it would be more profitable for him to buy more quantities of that good which price has reduced in our real life we also do same whenever we go to sale or heard about a reduction in price we start buying more quantities of that good which price Has reduced same way our consumer do that's why our new equilibrium point is E two at this equilibrium point consumer reduce quantities of Y good from O Y to O Y O Y two because price of Y is constant but increase the quantity of X good from O X to O X two because price of X has reduced means he substitute X good for Y good that's why this X X two called substitution effect this is Hicksian substitution effect. Now we will see Slutsky's substitution effect. Slutsky's substitution effect is same as Hicksian effect, but it has some differences. We will basically talk about differences between Hicksian and Slutsky's substitution effect. In this diagram, on x-axis we have x good, and y-axis we have y good. This A B is our initial budget line. This A B is our initial budget line. IC is initial indifference curve E is initial consumer equilibrium point as price of X fall budget line shift outward on the side of X this AC is new budget line IC one is new indifference curve E one is new consumer equilibrium point as we discussed in Hicksian effect same this is same now we reduce money income of consumer as we reduce money income of consumer his budget line shift inward you can see ED this dotted line represent new budget line E2 is new consumer equilibrium point where consumer reduce quantities of y from oy to oy2 but increase quantities of x good from ox to ox2 means a consumer substitute x good for y good and this x or x2 call substitution effect now please listen carefully because we are going to talk about differences between hicksian and slutsky substitution effect this diagram represent hicksian effect and this diagram represents slutsky substitution effect 
फर्स्ट डिफरेंस इज दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू विक्स वी शुड रिड्यूज मनी इनकम ऑफ कंज्यूमर इन सच अवे सो दैट ही रिटर्न बैक टू इज इनिशियल इन डिफरेंस कर बट अकॉर्डिंग टू सिलेक्सी वी शुड रिड्यूज मनी इनकम ऑफ कंज्यूमर इन सच अवे सो दैट ही कैन बाय इनिशियल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई गुड अकॉर्डिंग टू सिलेक्सी वी शुड रिड्यूज मनी इनकम ऑफ कंज्यूमर इन सच अवे सो दैट कंज्यूमर कैन बाय इनिशियल क्वान्टिटीज ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई गुड वैन देर वॉज नो चेंज इन प्राइस As we know, initial equilibrium is E. At this equilibrium, consumer was buying O X quantities of X good and O Y quantities of Y good. And according to Sluxy, we should reduce the money income of consumer in such a way so that consumer can buy the same O Y and O X quantities of X and Y good again. Uh, that's why you can see in case of Sluxy effect, this E D line passing through this E point is initial equilibrium point, which represent uh, with this money consumer can buy initial quantities of X and Y good, but in case of Higgs, this E D line is not passing through this E point. Okay, and second difference is that um, in case of Higgs, when we reduce money money income, consumer reach at same in difference curve. You can see E and E two point are in same in difference curve. But in case of Higgsian, when we reduce money income of consumer, consumer reach at higher in difference curve. You can see E two point uh, is at uh, I C two in difference curve, which is higher than this I C in difference curve. So uh, Higgs reach. Consumer at same in difference curve, but in Sluxy effect, consumer get more satisfaction. That why that's why consumer reach are higher in difference curve. So this is all about uh, Higgsian and Sluxy substitution effect. I think you got it. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.